speed through because the video would have been too long. So I'm just using my products that I like to put in and I'm using a cheek keratin mist and then I'm taking some shea butter and then I'm gonna take the gel. You can use whatever products you wanna use in your hair. It's your personal preference. I like the gel because it really helps the, hold, the curls to hold in the hair. And then I also like to put some type of moisturizer like the shea butter so that your hair isn't drying out or anything. So I'm just putting that all throughout the hair in the front and the back. And then I'm gonna part off that one little section where I had my leave out, like if I wanted to do a part in my hair. So I just take that section and twist it by itself and if you will see, the shea butter kind of clumps up, but you could just rub it in and it won't leave any residue or anything in your hair in the morning. So then I'm gonna start flat twisting my hair and I go around the perimeter. I break it into two sections. I do one in the front and one in the back. You can make a continuous circle all the way around your head, whatever you choose to do, but I just find it easier like this. So I'm just flat twisting the hair and um, it may take some practice for you dolls to learn how to do it, but it's pretty much just like doing a braid, except it's a lot easier because you only take two pieces of hair and you just twist them, but it's gonna be to the scalp. So that's basically what I'm doing. And then once I get to the end, I just twist it all the way down and then I'm going to roll it around in my fingers so that I get a nice curl on the end and that helps to hold it in place overnight. I don't have to put a rubber band or anything like that on to hold it down so then in the back I do the same thing except I take probably a lot larger sections because this area you really don't see especially if I know I'm wearing it half up half down so I just take chunky sections and I do a flat twist across the back as well So then I tie it up with a scarf. This is just a silky satin type of scarf that I got from H&M quite some time ago. So then we're gonna go ahead and jump to the morning. So in the morning, I go ahead and I take the scarf off of course, and then I just wet the hair down. I start off with hot water sometimes to kind of get more of the product out, but then I always switch to cold so that the hair doesn't get frizzy. Or you can just go straight in with the cold water. So then I take a microfiber towel and I'm just going to towel dry the hair to get some of that water out of the hair. So once I do that, then I'm gonna go in with my conditioner. This is the um, Herbal Essence Moroccan Shine. You can use whatever conditioner you wanna use. I just like this one. So I'm just doing that and I'm putting the conditioner in as a leave-in so that my hair isn't dry and it also helps with frizz and defining the curls and all of that as well. Then I'm just gonna start brushing the hair out and I'm using my Denman brush to do so. I like to start at the ends and work my way up. And I did take my ponytail loose just so that I can bring it up further because like I said, my leave out has grown out quite a bit. So I'm just pulling the ponytail up to the front as far as I can get it up. and I don't have a part across the back or anything, but you can't tell anyway, so that's how I was able to wear half up, half down. So then I'm just gonna do the same thing. I split the back into two sections and I'm just going to brush them out on each side and help to define the curls. So after I do that, I'm kind of just running my fingers through the ponytail at the top and finger defining it. And then I'm going to take the L'Oreal product and apply that to my hair. This is the L'Oreal Eversleek and I love this for helping with frizz. So I'm just applying that to the ponytail and then I'm going to also apply it on the portion that's going to be down. And I'm just working it into the hair. Then I just let my hair air dry while I'm getting ready and basically I just use the ceiling fan. If you want, you can diffuse your hair or whatever. Then I'm taking some coconut oil and I'm just putting that on my hands and on the hair while I'm taking the flat twist loose. and shiny and looks moisturized and everything and then of course I'm gonna take the one loose in the back so then I start grabbing the sections on how I pin the hair up 
and I don't put it into the ponytail because I feel like it will stretch the waves or curls out too much. So I just pin it with bobby pins. So I'm just taking one section on the side and I'm gonna pin that into the ponytail. And this is kind of repetitive because then I go ahead and switch to the opposite side and I'm just gonna take the hair and pin it up into the ponytail just like I did on the other side. So then next in the middle section, I kind of just part it between, um, but still make it look like it's all one piece. You don't want it to look like it's going to each side. So then I just pin a section to one side and pin a section to the other side. Then I'm gonna take the portion that I had left over from my little pieces and I'm just going to wrap those around and pin them down so that they're not sticking out or anything. And then I'm gonna take a section of the ponytail and I'm gonna use that to wrap around as well, just to blend everything in even more and just make it look really nice and seamless. And then of course, I'm gonna pin that again. Sometimes I don't use this many pins, it just depends. So now I'm taking my Chic Hair Edge Control and I'm gonna use that on my edges to fleek them. So I'm just using my toothbrush to do so. I'll have a link down below to this product if you dolls are interested in checking it out. And I'll also list the other products that I used in this video. And this works really good on my baby hairs and everything. So that's just what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. And that is pretty much it. And also whenever I wear my hair, all up in a ponytail I do the same method so everything is pretty much always the same you know you just would have more hair up and in the back it really doesn't matter because the ponytail is pretty long so it'll still cover it unless you want to pin it in a bun but you can get the same type of look up the back of the hair so that is pretty much it and that's how I blend my hair if you guys have any questions leave them down below and don't forget to rate comment and subscribe bye dolls